setting uh, Pop straight and re removing his evil. The power of music, my friend. Alright, so this will be uh, the mission we'll do right before um, your solid. So we got Wind of Change. Let's see if we can cure Pop. Hopefully we can uh, set him back to normal. Because technically he's been not normal ever since Stonewood. Like you, like, you guys realize that, right? Like, he got lost at the end of Stonewood, and we got him back at the beginning of Plankerton, and then he got corrupted. And so this is, but I think, like, the third... 13th mission in, 13th mission in, and now he's just starting to go back to normal. So he's been not normal for like 20 missions. It's probably a long time since we've seen him normal last. That's cool. I just saw a post uh, on Instagram. I occasionally just check Instagram while like, we're in the transition of the missions. <laughs> and I'm, I'm reading this mission, uh, not mission, uh, reading this post that says, Tobey Maguire, who obviously was the first Spider-Man that everyone really remembers, uh, helps topless woman cover up with seaweed. And then and underneath Alexander. it says, careful, he's a hero for when, when he was in his old movies. Oh, yeah, that, that, that'd be completely God. random to just have sea, seaweed as an idea. I wouldn't have thought of that. Sure well, no, that's cool how he wasn't, like, a pervert about the whole situation. Good standard to live up to is, you know, staying a superhero in real life, too. Although, I don't know how the hell the woman would have lost her top. That makes no sense to me. And, uh, w women don't nonchalantly care about that. I mean, although there is some bikinis, though, that look like their tops are going to fall off in a second. But, uh, yeah, the fact that he wasn't a pervert about it and everything was cool. Glad he was like that. <laughs> Although she probably afterwards was being like, "Oh, oh, oh, thanks, honey. Do you, do you want to do me a favor and uh, retake off the seaweed at, at my place?" <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. That, that'd be kind of cool though if she was like, you know, overly chill. That, that, that's a way to get a date. <laughs> get a woman to take off her top and help her cover up, and then have her just take it off later. <laughs> Sounds like the skin of a Family Guy episode. Although it probably would feel really weird though, because like, have you ever guys like uh, gone like uh, swimming and you feel seaweed touch your feet? That that shit's kind of like gross and nasty. But yeah, I guess it's better than your boobs hanging out all over the place. Uh -oh, I'm, I'm already out of ammo supplies. Are you kidding me? What the hell am I already out of screws? Solid, you got one more set of uh, nuts and bolts or something. And then uh, I'll just remember to just get the uh, the my storage next time. <laughs> that that was on me. I forgot. That was just my bad. But if you got one more set, that'd be appreciated. Thanks, mate. So I don't get it. Where the fuck is Pop in relative to this mission? It looks like we're just literally looking for Lars. I guess we gotta get Lars first. Oh, here he is. He's at the graveyard. Add blue glow to prepare for liftoff. All right, cool. So now we just gotta find the blue glow to fuel his van. Somebody up here. Okay, cool. Nice. 
so you already got it. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, we need um, two more. Oh, got one. Good, good, good. Come on, game. Pick it up. There we go. Looks like an abandoned shelter. Okay. You should be able to find just one more. It's too bad you can't get them to like drop off of the husks too. That'd be kind of cool if you could just get husks and drop them below. Here we go. Alright, so I got three, and I know you got the one solid, so let's uh, start up Lars's van. Although I don't know if you technically have to have two in your inventory. We might need to have you either find one more or me find one more. I don't think you technically can use my blue glow. Let's actually hold that thought. Okay, here we go. Here's more blue glow. Okay. Alright, let's go down here and get this all set up. Yeah, I figured his little thing would be there. That's, I'm assuming, why he did the, uh, the triangle. Although it doesn't happen to reach, I can't put in the uh, blue glow. I can put it in from straight ahead. So if you want to do this, we can do this. Here, I, I just put it in the front. There you go. So yeah, I'll let you finish up your build. Although, your build looks kind of just as wacky as mine did. Although, I know what you're going for. I, I'm just curious. What the heck is this stuff that you wrapped around? Like, the blue crap. Like, what 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 is this that's around the wood? Like, what trap is this? Looks like it's right here, too. Secret, so Robin, that's the that uh, that's the constructor's base, not a trap. Oh, I got you. All right, I didn't know that your guy was a constructor. Oh, you probably over just like overlaid a superhero skin on a constructor. That makes sense. Increases the build health by eighty percent. Jeez, that's nuts, dude. All right, well I'm gonna chill up here and see if I can. Uh. Get these taken care of. Ooh, actually. Ooh, that, that sounds really good right about now. Yo, chat. Um, What I'm actually going to do uh, while I think about it is that um, my dad just texted me saying he just made some fresh hamburgers and some potatoes. And I've been craving those for like, literally a month. 
so probably what I'm gonna do is that I'll still complete this mission, but really quickly, uh, while we are doing this, I will uh, grab some and I'll actually bring it back and we can finish the rest of the mission while I'm here. So I will be right back. I am on the roof solid. Um, just do me a favor, if you can guard me, that'd be appreciated. And I'm just gonna bring the food back in uh, to my room, and then we can just eat while we play. That way I can say I have dinner, I'll be right back. a little more blue glow add blue glow and get ready to defend the van put the switch when you're ready
it on back chat. Hey Google, turn on the lights. This is gonna be fucking delicious. Alrighty. Looks like I didn't miss much either. It damages husks as well. Oh, I didn't know that your little trap thing did that. Uh, you could customize it as you like. Oh, that's cool. Where am I actually relative to the zombies? Okay, we're like right here. I'm very quickly just gonna sit on the mountain turret and we're just gonna start eating my food. I'm really enjoying this. You guys have no idea. Like, if you guys ever had a good Angus burger, these are fucking delicious. I have two Angus burger patties and some potatoes of Ryan, which is like potatoes with like onions, peppers, and all that stuff. It's delicious. It really is delicious. Thank you for the uh, help, Solid. I appreciate that. Th thank you, chat. I really, really do. Uh, Angus from Hungry Jack's Whoppers are better. I personally have never really liked Burger King all that much. They're they're okay. Have you ever had a uh, a Wendy's burger? They're not that bad. Their, their quality is their recipe slogan actually would apply specifically at least to the burgers because the burgers are actually 100% not frozen beef. Like, uh, that actually was something that I thought would might be a BS slogan, but it's actually true. Their, their beef is just straight off uh, off, uh, the, uh, the truck, essentially. Well, I mean, well, not the truck, but it's just not frozen. And it makes it taste really fresh. Like, Wendy's burgers are the best just because they're the most, like, fresh. Like, you ever had a grilled burger, like, just straight off the grill? It's all nice and juicy and hot. It's all ready to go. And then you have, like, a, a reheated one from the microwave. It just doesn't hit the same. Uh, oh, you call, uh, Hungry Jack's Burger King in America? Well, if, uh, if Hungry Jack's is the place that you're referring to that has Whoppers, then yes, that would be a, a Burger King equivalent for us, because Burger King in the United States sells Whoppers, so if a Hungry Jack's does that, that's probably the equivalent. Uh, there's no Wendy's in Australia? Really? Oh, that, that, I'm surprised about that. Wendy's is good, though, dude. If you ever come to America, please try it. it it's, a, it's a Black Ninja recommendation. You would love it. At least the burgers. I can't promise anything else because I only try like just a classic burger and fries on the menu. But if you have a burger, you're gonna fucking love it. Then yeah, that'd probably be the equivalent. Hey. I wish I could take credit for it, but we got ripped by solar wind up there. Guess solar wind's real good for troubled robots. Not so great for me. Thank you. Is there anything I can do to repay you? Take him back, please. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Pops is back to normal. A little bit of a troll and kind of annoying. But he's at least back to normal. Uh, you can AFK while I do the work. Nah, nah, it's okay, man. We, we, in fact, what we can do is we can just fill the time by me eating while I talk. Because if I just fly out when AFK, um, even though I appreciate it, uh, when I re-upload this to the sake of Let's YouTube, it would uh, have just dead parts. Broadcasting live from home base, this is Radio Free Plankerton. If you can hear this, help is on the way. We've got something new for you survivors out there in the storm. Survivor shelters. Here's how you find them. 
Right now our broadcast radius is about two blocks. Let's go boost that signal. That's cool. So, the next mission when we get back to it eventually would be pump up the volume. Rebuild survivor relays to boost radio-free Plankerton's signal. And we would have to rebuild two survivor relays in a successful missions in a 28 plus zone. That's cool. Uh, pull nuts out of your storage along with a 130 weapon. Yeah, I'll do that, man. I remember. But thank you for the reminder, though. Yeah, I will. I'm just going to eat and talk to you first. That's all, mate. No, Sal, if I ever did go to Australia, because I do want to travel the world over the course of my life, uh, what would you recommend as uh, some food at Australia? Like, I feel like universally you would have all the same stuff, but some, some of them it sounds like you don't. Like, what's some good Australian food? Because right now I'm hungry. I'm just thinking about food. <laughs> like, what do you like? Also really good too. I'm so glad my dad made dinner. I prefer ethnic food, Indian restaurants, and Middle Easterns are my favorite. Oh, I got you. I find it funny how you pick Indian food. Hmm. This for me, personally, I never really hear a lot about Indian food. Um, at least my exposure to food, if I don't eat anything that's not United States food, uh, usually a lot of people it's Chinese. Like, that's what a lot of people get for their, uh, non-traditional burger fries meals. Like, if they want to feel a little bit more adventurous. Never had Indian food. Oh, really? How so? Because I, I know it's not just all curry and shit like that. Like, a lot of people make fun of it. Like, what what, what like what would be some Indian food? Like, you know, that would be good. Oops, shit. Drop some food. That's, that's funny. <laughs> when people are going to watch this back as a YouTube video, or even maybe some people in the chat, they're just going to be like, I'm fucking hungry. Mexican is good. Me Mexican food is good. Although, just don't get the shit from Taco Bell, because that's not Mexican food. That that's liquid ass. <laughs> you, you, you will shit like a garden hose.
God, it'll save your colon. <laughs> Uh, Chicken Tika uh, Masla. I probably mispronounced that. I was just only glancing at it. But, uh, is my favorite alongside with uh, the spicy fried chicken. Yeah, the spicy chicken can also be really good. Other than a good burger, I also really do like some nice grilled chicken. The grilled food in general is good. Like, the, the feeling of, uh, like, whether it's propane or charcoal, if you have, like, a nice grill... That's clean, but has like kind of like that like crispy burnt, like mild uh black char. Like, oh my god, that's fucking amazing on a, on a nice steak or a hot dog or, or something like that. That's great. Like grilled and barbecue is delicious, dude. Seems you're very passionate about your food, man. That's awesome. I'm glad to see the enthusiasm. It's funny, I'm eating, I'm starting to get hungry again. <laughs> So we got 15 minutes, but I'm okay with going over just a bit. So I will make you party leader. Uh, make party leader. And then also as well, I need to... Oop, that's the wrong button. I need to go back in my storage. And I gotta pull out some screws. Transfer. Max. Transfer. Uh, steak with special sweet chili sauce. <laughs> I've never had that one. I, I never thought that you would s s have steak with chili. I, I just never really thought that, but it sounds kind of good. Uh, choose a ninja. Okay. I'll just switch back to the enforcer. Oh. Need to rank him up anyway. Okay, my computer's lagging just just a bit, J just a bit. Uh, let's see, go back to Hawk, then put on Wildcat, and then put on the Enforcer. All right, and then I gotta go to. I'm just gonna really quickly see if I can upgrade him. Uh, excuse me. Oh, I can't. I, I forgot. I gotta wait. Campaign missions. Got the hiccups now. All right, uh, so go ahead and load up your uh, mission solid. We you host and I switch to the enforcer, who happens to be a ninja. So, smart enough to not come in.
stay in high ground. Okay. Uh, hold that thought. I'm just gonna close the door all the way in my room because uh, I have a bolt lock because I don't want people accidentally coming in here and being like, you know, talking about something that they shouldn't like a something like a family matter or something. It doesn't need to be on the internet. Ugh, all right. God, man, those burgers and potatoes were spicy. Oh, although it's just, it's just peppers and like onions and crap like that it shows how much of a white guy I am. <laughs> Although I'm not as bad as most people were, it's just, I only put on salt. <laughs> it's like, I, I try to actually venture out on some of these spicier foods. I actually like spice. <sighs> but I've never dared try something like a ghost pepper or something like that. Some of these insane people do, and then they end up having to, like, drink milk just to barely live. Alright, but I'm ready. <laughs> maybe that's, maybe that's what I'll actually do for, uh, 900 subs. Is that uh, on YouTube? Is I'll eat like a ghost pepper or chili pepper or something like that. That that would be a video. Would you guys want to see me eat a fucking pepper like that and like get all horribly red faced and feel like I want to die? It would have to be within reason though. I, I can't actually injure myself from like the the, the Scoville units. That uh, that would probably be a pretty good idea though, to be honest, for 900. I uh, use a 130 weapon. Okay, well, I gotta get back out of storage. Uh, uh, inventory cannot be modified while starting or ending in a world mission. Okay. So I'll pull out the bows. Oh, uh... I don't think I can actually pull these out because I'm not host. Because I won't do it now. Uh, doesn't matter. I will drop you one. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so yeah, go ahead, Saul. Let's uh, wrap this up and we'll end up having a great finale here for the stream. By the way, guys, uh, I haven't uh, mentioned this at all at any point today. If you guys have ended up enjoying the stream at all at any point, by the way, make sure you end up considering dropping a follow. It's always greatly appreciated, and we'll let you guys know when I am live streaming next. Because um, with the live streams, we're starting to do them a lot more uh, catered to uh, around, like, for example, interactive streams such as this. So if you guys ever want to join, you can also feel free to end up joining as well. Uh, if you guys want to know when I'm streaming as well, I stream Thursday through Sunday. I variety games on a regular basis. So if you guys are new around here, I would definitely appreciate the follow, and I'd be more than happy to serve you with uh, entertainment. Because <laughs> you'll never get any more unique content like this. I see we're also playing uh, in the pirate world again. Arg, matey, we're going for some booty. Just being like in an improv class, just being like pickup lines by pirates and just being like, show me your booty. <laughs> I'll make you walk me blank. <laughs> oh, you got scurvy, Lassie. <laughs> I know it's also the rescue the survivor mission too. I'm surprised you were able to uh, get this because technically isn't this mission set gone like this world or is this just not the pirate mission? Cause I get the pirate loading screen. So Yeah, this is the pirate world. I thought that they got rid of the uh, the pirate world. Oh, that looks cool. Thank you. But uh, did they did they not get rid of the pirate world? Did they get rid of the pirate world, or like what's going on with that? Okay, this, this is a shit ton of ammo for this thing, so this shouldn't run out anytime soon. Yep, for the awesome. This looks like a like a stereotypical alien gun. I love this.
Uh, this is Twine Peaks. Oh, Twine Peaks has a pirate section? Or is the pirate thing Twine Peaks? Okay, that's a cool gun. Because uh, I, I recognize this, so I'm, uh, unless it has a pirate section, I may have already been here. Have I been to Twine Peaks? I can't remember. I, 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 I think you have known Solid if I was at Twine Peaks first when I, when I did that pirate mission the one time. Okay, this stuff's actually really, really cool. It's a tropical biome? Okay. So I'm assuming just because it's just such a high-level mission that that's the reason why I'm going to get a lot of Survivor XP. There's a lot of uh, elemental zombies. And all these zombies look like they're frozen. Survivor in danger. Oh, I found a survivor, dude. They're at the uh, temple. Die, motherfucker, die! Oh, I need ammo. In fact, I'm just curious. Will my hover buddy do anything still? Oh wow, you can get really, really knocked if you get hit. Ah, no, 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 no! Health back. Interesting. Load up. This looks like a gun you would find in like all these zombies. <laughs> well, I mean, all of them kind of look like that, but this one especially. This is a survival relay. Okay. Oh, so this is the survivor mission that I gotta do, right? Oh. Oh. I see. Interesting. I see what you're doing. So you're helping me do Let's my mission. Okay, thank you. I thought it was just a random mission in particular. I didn't know it was actually going to contribute towards the story. I thought it was just a random mission. Thank you, my friend. It always helps when it contributes to the main story as much as it does to my, uh, my benefit. And there's a second one right there. Hell yeah. Ow, ow, oh, come on. I ran to the bees. If you have blue blue, you can put it inside the robot. fast <laughs> victory on that part Woo. big 
Who seems to be asleep. My my guy jumps out of the sky like Jesus, and and yet he goes big guy, and he's doing nothing. I mean, even a gun at him, he's just asleep. Well, he knows if I walk backwards. Okay, just stay asleep, big dude. Oh, I gotta find the antenna. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, you make it look easy. Sweet. So anything is just bonus. Hell yeah. Let's go, boys. I'm gonna enjoy making the title for this episode. <laughs> Over one million survivor XP exclamation point XD. I don't need that blue glow. In fact, I'm just curious. What, what, what would my airstrike do on these guys for how weak I am? It doesn't even kill them? What about, what about the hover buddy? All it's doing is like tickling them. Oh, get get the fucking baby zombies away from me! Yeah, these guys are like these guys are like fucking Spider Man. Oh, these are new materials, actually. I see a blue and a red material. This must be specific, once again, to Twine Peaks. Hell yeah. Shadow Shard Crystal? Oh, no, yeah, I will, man. I'm just taking a look at all this stuff. God, this has a lot of fucking HP. Dude, I feel like I'm hand mining obsidian. Sunbeam crystal. Okay. Interesting. Alright, I'm coming to you. Let's do a storm chest. Okay. Oh, it's right here. Cool. to do any bones. But yeah, everything else is just bones. It's cool. We're just killing time. This rocket launcher you gave me, though, this is actually really cool, bro. Oh, I know why I'm not getting my HP back. because you're stealing all my fucking kills. That's why. Like, I'll get them weak and then you'll finish them. Because I, I see it going up little by little when I actually do get the kill. Ow. Oh, I got two big guys. Hey, uh, Solid, I got no more ammo on the rocket launcher you gave me. Do you have a, uh, a gun that's, uh, got the same value, uh, but doesn't require energy ammo? Or can you just give me energy ammo, rather? Because I can't shoot. 
Okay, th that gun you also have is really cool, by the way. Like, that's totally badass. Thank you, because I can just sw switch out the uh, Jack of Lan Lantern Launcher. Although they all say level 9, so I don't know which one it is. I'm just going to assume I can use any of them. It's a Mythic Launcher? Well, I don't see any of them in the mythic color. Usually mythic is like neon yellow. This is just like golden orange. Oh, I see I see the 130 jack of launcher one now. It's, it was just now getting my inventory. So yeah, I, I got all the guns now. Thank you. Oh, and I see a, the uh, tech shotgun. That's cool. And the dragonfly sniper. You give me a lot of shit, man. Thank you. My weapon, not yours. Oh, yeah. That's fine. If you, if you want back, that's cool. Uh, which one do you want back? No. I, I'm, I'm not following. Like, what, what am I missing in this conversation? I'm, I'm assuming, based off of what we're talking about, that I'm only borrowing the weapons now? Oh! That- okay, that's the mythic gun that you have, and that's the one you can't drop. Oh. You don't want anything- oh, okay, I get it, thank you. Thank you for clearing that up. That makes sense now. Oh, you kidding me? I barely got hit by a beehive. I went to go say hello to the survivor and, like, help him out, and then it's just like, my guy just dies! Instantly! What the hell? This guy doesn't even do anything. Or even if it does, it does it very little by little. Holy shit. This thing is weak as fuck, dude. Why are the zombies so fucking strong? The closest I was ever to killing anything was the fucking grenade launcher. So it's funny how that, technically this is Twine Peaks and not the Pirate DLC, and yet, at the same time, it feels exactly like the Pirate DLC. <laughs> Almost nothing, right? Good to know. Survivor in danger. See, these guns are just barely enough to be able to survive. 
They're not even like that OP. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? I got fucking like cl clobbered by a normal zombie. I sat still for one second. He literally <laughs> fucking one one punch KO'd me. All right, I'm, I'm gonna try to survive for the next two minutes because I only have one life left. And I think I, this is good currently. Four humans, fewer corpses. Win win. He's fucking clothesline me like Batista. Just like spear, spear. Ah, uh, today's been a really good stream. I'm really gonna end up enjoying playing again on Thursday. <laughs> I'm also gonna enjoy installing my new PC RAM tonight. I just waited until the stream was done just because I didn't want to worry about the computer possibly giving me issues by swapping out parts. But um, when I got the stream out of the way, I'm completely looking forward to doing this. This will be so much fun, making the computer so much better. Let's see what this dialogue would actually be then for the cutscene because I wasn't expecting it. Oh, don't want to get kamikaze last second. Here we go. I can't believe it. That was nearly everyone. Ray, you say that every single time. Alrighty, sweet. Alright, we actually had a really good stream tonight. I'm looking forward to figuring out what this last piece of dialogue is. Just a casual 1,240,861 XP. Gentlemen, let's see what the final cutscene technically is for tonight, and then we will get back to Save the Wool again on Thursday. Don't forget to upgrade survivors. I won't. We'll do that before the stream ends. Might have enough for Ragnarok. In fact, we might even have plenty over Ragnarok. Good work. Let's see if they tune in. 
Oh, that's just it. Okay. You left me on a cliffhanger there. I was waiting for see see, see something. And V bucks. Alright. Radio free Plankerton is a hit! We've got survivors on the move! Let's bring them home. Okay, that's not that bad. Okay, so the next mission that we will do uh, on Thursday will be No Lost Causes. Rescue those survivors. Save nine survivors and successful missions. Complete a, an, uh, a repair shelter mission in a 28 plus zone. So this is a lot of stuff that we got to do. So we're going to be starting off really, really hot when we get back. I mean, saving nine survivors and successful missions and uh, repairing the uh, uh, sh uh, shelter and mission in a 28 plus zone. That means we're going to, at the very least, have to do three missions just for one story. So that, that's going to be quite a bit. But that is okay when it's all said and done. Now what we need to do is we need to take a look at all of our stuff and redeem it. Yeah, I got plenty for Ragnarok now. But I'm just going to take a look at everything just to see. You got 700k XP, upgrade the survivors. Oh yeah, I'm definitely... So I'm going to redeem my llamas and my XP and everything. We're just going to wrap this all up so we're prepared again for this Thursday. I think I got one more llama. Yo, what? Alright, and I don't have enough for that llama. Save the gold. Okay, I'll, I mean, I'll look into it. It just depends. Nah, that llama was kind of bad. Alright, locker. Armory. Oh, let me see what I earned over, over recently. Yeah, that rocket launcher schematic was the one thing I was really looking forward to. That thing has a lot of DPS. And yeah, we got all these cool guns now. Thank you for that, by the way. Collection book. Don't really need anything with that. Resources. Don't really need anything with that. All right, and then we can probably upgrade our guys. So upgrade those survivors, you got it. So squads. I believe some of them are restricted though, so I'm gonna have to be very careful about which ones I do upgrade. Okay, so let's upgrade you. Holy shit, that's a lot of XP. Yeah, you're, you're right. So evolve, level up, confirm, level up, view evolution, so you're done now. Uh, let's see, upgrade you. Confirm level up. I'm trying to upgrade all the, uh, the golden guys first, so I'm upgrading all the zombie characters in there. And then I got you. And I gotta wait for Candy Valley. Yeah, I was sort of close to upgrading these guys to max, and then I got, it got capped off. Although I have already gone through 300,000 of it, so it's already almost completely eaten up my, my XP already. What about you guys? Did I ever fully upgrade you? I, th I think I fully upgrade all the guys back here. I'm just going to double check, though. Yeah, they're upgraded at least until we get to, uh, Candy Valley. Yeah. Uh, try auto-fix. Apparently they fixed it. I don't know what you mean by that. Oh, try auto-fill. Apparently they fixed it. Oh, that was a bug? Oh, I didn't know that was a bug. So if I turn this on. All right, so I turned autofill on. So now if I go to my guy. Oh yeah, that that's definitely a lot higher. Look, look at that, boys. We went to 50,000... 896 health just on our guy alone because originally before at least with the uh with our guy we were at like 
15,000. That, that's a significant jump. Thank you. Like, that helps out a lot. Double check the squad. Squads. No, no, it, 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 I double checked it. So they reorganized it a bit. Interesting. They, they, they got some things to try to stack. In fact, they purposely to try to give me bonuses. That's cool. I like that. Then we can also do our upgrades here, I think. Or are we out? No, we're out for now. I know we have research, though. Yeah, we can only do one research, though. I was researching the traps. It's just it's worth it to me. And then our heroes, if we go to managing them, even though, yes, theoretically, I can only rank up so many of them, I want to rank them up. Uh, upgrade the pickaxe. Okay, I don't know. I mean, although I don't know really why that, that you would need to ever upgrade this. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I can think of for now. So at least for now, we'll call it a day, and then we'll end up trying uh, more stuff on Thursday. But uh, yeah, guys, that is going to be it for today's stream. I hope you guys ended up enjoying. If you did, please consider dropping a follow. It's always greatly appreciated. And I'll let you guys know when I'm live streaming next. Once again, I always live stream Thursday through Sunday on a variety of games on a pretty regular basis. So if you guys enjoy things like Fortnite Save the World, I hope you guys will look forward to some more streams because I know I already got you interested if you still listen to me. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you ended up enjoying. If you did, once again, just simply please leave a follow. It's always greatly appreciated. If you're watching this as a YouTube video, then please consider dropping a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed a, another YouTube video slash live stream from the most unique live streamer slash YouTuber you guys will ever see. Thank you for watching, guys, and peace out.